Hi guys, this is your afternoon stretch with, stretch with Get Active Singapore and my name is Sam. I'm from Uppercut, a boutique boxing studio that combines traditional boxing technique and high intensity workout. So today I'm here to share the sweet science of boxing with you in a 45 minute shadow boxing workout. All right, and here's what we have for the first segment. Okay, so before we get started, all right, we're gonna sort two things out first. First of all, your equipment setup. You're gonna need two water bottles. You don't have to grab them now. We're gonna have a commercial break after the first segment. That's when you can go grab your water bottles. Make sure to fill them up with water. If you have a half a kilo or a kilo dumbbell, that would be great as well. As you can see, I already have mine positioned here. Okay, and the second thing is, we're gonna sort out your fight stance and your six punches. So to get started, what I want you to do is this, all right? If you're sitting down at the moment, I want you to get up onto your feet. And uh, if we have no music playing right now, if you want to put on your favorite playlist, now's the time. Okay, so onto your feet, both feet together. What I want you to do is this, okay? If you are left-handed, you want to be copying everything on the same side. If you're right-handed, everything's on the opposite side. Okay, so take your right foot, and that will be your left if you're left-handed. Pivot it out 90 degrees, bring it back, shoulder width apart. What I want you to do next is this turn, Okay, your left foot pointed in the same direction as your right foot. And next up, just look over your left shoulder. Okay, look over your left shoulder and take your right hand, bring it up, index fingers to your temples, tuck your elbow in. Make sure your elbow is parallel. Sorry, make sure your elbow is perpendicular to the ground. Elbow is straight. Okay, bring your front hand up. That will be your left hand. Okay, and if you look at yourself, if you look at yourself right now, make sure that both your forearms are parallel to each other. If you look at yourself from the side, you'll notice that one hand is in front of you and one is behind of you. And that hand behind of you is your right hand, also known as your back hand, and the hand in front of you is your left hand, also known as your front hand. Okay, so if you're left-handed, you're gonna have it the other way around. All right, your right hand is your back hand and your left, your left hand is your back hand and your right hand is your front hand. Okay, next up, I want you to look down at your feet for me. Okay, slight bend in your knees onto the balls of your feet and I just want you to give me a little bit of a bounce. Feel your weight drop onto your front and to your back foot, front to your back, front to your back. Just a little bit of a bounce, not too much. Okay, all right, have your hands up high, chin tucked in. Next up, your six punches. Punches number one and number two are your straight punches, also known as your jabs and your crosses. So for your jab, your jab is always thrown with your front hand. So when I say jab, don't even have to think about it. Always comes from your front hand. Okay, picture this. A window right in front of you and you're reaching out of that window with a cup of water. Once it's out the window, turn it in. All right, and notice how your shoulder rolls up to your cheekbone. That's what you want. Okay, so punching at eye level, first two knuckles in, palms facing down full extension in your elbows, bring it back in. Punch number two is your cross, is exactly the same as a jab, just that it's thrown, it's thrown with your dominant hand, okay? So, same thing, cup of water, out the window, turn it in, shoulder rolling up to your cheekbone, make sure your front hand's back up to your face, palms facing down, full extension in your elbows, bring it back in, okay? Your next two punches are your hooks. Your straight punches are punches that travel in a straight line. Your hooks are punches that comes from the side. So we're gonna focus on generating a sideward force right now. So I'm gonna split the hook into two movements for you. One, all right, you wanna turn your front foot in, pivot on that front foot, turn it in, and notice how your hips turn in as you turn that front foot in, that's what you want. Second thing, bring your front elbow up, 90 degrees to your body, and make sure your back end is back up. Okay, so on my count, turn that front foot in first and then bring the elbow up high, 90 degrees to your body. Turn and hand up high and elbow up high, 90 degrees and bring it back in. Okay, and punch number four is your back hook. Same thing, pivot that back foot in, bring that back elbow up, 90 degrees to your body. All right, front hand back up to your face. And for your last two punches are your, are your uppercuts. Okay, now you've got punches that come straight, punches that come from the side, and your uppercut are punches that come from under. But it doesn't mean you need to drop your hand to throw the punch. It just means that you're generating an upward force with your lower body. Okay, so with your uppercut, again, two movements, the drop and the drive. This is the drop. You, know, you wanna drop some of that weight onto your front foot. You feel that weight on your front foot from here. Turn your front foot in, driving your first two knuckles up the ceiling, palms facing you. 
Okay, backhand back up to your face, bring it back in. Same thing with that back uppercut. Drop some of that weight down onto your back foot. From here, turn your back foot in. Driving your first two knuckles up the ceiling, palms facing you, forearm and elbow, resembling a V. All right, so now that we run through your six punches, we're gonna start with a quick, with a quick warm up, all right, by working those punches so that we don't forget them. Okay, so first up, we're gonna start with our straight punches. We go in three, two, and one. All right, straight punches. Your jabs and your crosses. Okay, so with your straight punches, I want you to make sure that you extend your arms all the way out, all right? Don't have any bend left in your elbows, all right? All the way out. All right, these are punches that you want to be throwing if someone is standing far away from you because notice how your hands reach all the way out. And this is what I want you to do. As you throw that cross in, I want you to drop that back foot down, that back leg down into a half lunge, all right? That's going to help you turn your hips in and put a little bit of more weight behind your punch, all right? In boxing where there is weight, there is power. Jab, cross. Now, next up, we're going to work on your hooks. Just non-stop, front, and back hook. All right, let's go. Now for your hooks, all right, a lot of you are gonna have that tendency to wanna wind out from your hooks. Now, look here, all right? Your punches always start from the face. If it doesn't start from your face, it's not a punch. So it starts from your face, and as you turn your front foot up, all right, try to get your, all right, try to get your shoulder up to your cheekbone. That's what you want. Right, so notice how it leaves my face, all right? And for your hooks, it ends right here, right? You're just hitting someone to the side of their face, all right? Make sure your fist isn't pointed to the back, and all right, make sure you're, you're, you don't bring your fist too far out. All right, the, the further you bring that hand away, the longer it takes to come back to your face. Last five seconds on your hooks in three, two, and one. Now next up are your uppercuts. So again, the drop and the drive, okay? Now, if, you're, if you've boxed before, you're more familiar with it or you've been following, all right, the, for the past few weeks, okay, simply just drop your shoulder instead of dropping all that weight onto your front foot for an uppercut, all right? So just drop that shoulder, drive. Drop that shoulder, drive. Those of you a little bit new, all right, you can just make sure you drop more of that weight onto your front foot. Really feel where that weight is coming from. And from here, transfer that weight into your fist. 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. Now, next up, we're gonna raise our heart rate even higher, all right? Next 40 seconds, we're gonna go into high knees, keep your chest out, back straight, all right? Knees traveling up above your waist. We go on my count in three, two, and one. So, on your high knees, all right, I want you to land light on the balls of your feet, all right? I don't want you to be stomping on the ground, right? Land light on the balls of your feet. When you box, especially when you pivot your feet in, you always want, want to be turning in on the balls of your feet, all right? Instead of just turning your entire feet, all right? So always stay light on the balls of your feet. Get used to staying light on the balls of your feet. Last 10 seconds, let's pick up the pace. Three, two, and one. Now. Now that your heart rate is up, we're gonna keep it constant with some butt kickers in three, two, and one. Same thing, chest out, back straight, bring your heels to your bum. Some of you like to keep both hands behind of you on this one and get your heels to touch your fingers. That's fine as well. Thirty seconds. Again, light on the balls of your feet. 20 seconds. Hang in there. We're just getting started. We're just getting warmed up. Ten seconds. That's five, three, two, and time. Now, now that you've we've ran through your six basic punches. 
all right? We're gonna start boxing for real. All right, from here on out, we're gonna work on three punch combinations, all right? Simple combinations just to get you started. Okay, so over here, first combination, starting with your front hand is the jab. Second punch, the cross. Third punch, the front hook. So notice that when I box, I'm just not moving my hands, but my entire, all right, lower body is moving together with my hand. So corresponding hand, corresponding feet, make sure you pivot that foot in, all right? So jab, and on that cross, pivot that back foot in, and on that front hook, pivot that front foot in, all right? And make sure your hands come back to your face after every punch. Let's go. 10 seconds, guys. Last three, two, and one. Now guys, I'm gonna add one more punch into the mix and that is a back hook. Okay, so starting with your front hand. That's front hand with the jab, back hand with the cross, front hand with the front hook, back hand is free, come back with a back hook, right? So it's your front hand, back hand, front hand, back hand. Let's go, jab, cross, front hook, back hook. And in boxing, all right, I don't want you to tense your shoulders, okay? Now, when you throw that punch in that split second, that's where you tense up. When you're not punching, all right, you're always staying nice and relaxed, nice and light. And only when that punch goes out, jab cross, front hook, back hook, you tense up and then you go back to being nice and relaxed. So I want you to get into that zone, staying nice and relaxed when you're not punching and only exerting when you throw that combination. All right, but relaxing doesn't mean that you put your hands down, make sure to keep your hands up at all times. Last three, two, and one. Now, next up, we're gonna bring in your last two punches and those are your uppercuts, all right? So to complete your complete arsenal of punches, Jab, cross, front hook, back hook, front uppercut, back uppercut. All right, when you go nice and slow, all right, if you're just starting out, if you know how to box, go fast and, all right, go fast, but make sure that your hands come back to your face at all times. So notice, six punches, but my hands are always coming back to my face after every single punch. Right, shoulders should be feeling it by now. 10 more seconds, guys, come on. Five more seconds. Last three, two, and one. Now, for the next two minutes, I'm gonna go through the focus of today. And this week, you know, we are focusing on power for all of you guys at home. So yesterday we went through turning of the hips, all right, went through keeping your elbow in line with your fist. Today, all right, we're gonna introduce focusing on getting a power punch in after you've slipped, all right? So using the slip to facilitate the power punch. All right, so just a recap on your slips, all right? Now in your fight stance, your slip is a head movement, right? Bringing your head off the center line, all right? When someone throws a punch, that's you throwing your head off the center line, getting out of the way of the punch. All right, but every time you slip, your weight falls to either side of your body. And today we're gonna learn how to use that weight, capitalize on that weight, all right, to come back with a power punch, okay? So, first of all, recap on your slips. For your front slip, you just wanna turn your back foot in, all right? So remember, front slip, turn that back foot in. Turn it in, and notice how your head just moves nicely to the side, that's what you want, okay? And for that back slip, turn that front foot in. So easy way to remember is this, it's a front slip, it's a back foot, if it's a back slip, turn your front foot in, all right? So for a front slip, back foot in, back slip, turn your front foot in. And notice how your entire body moves just, all right, by you turning your feet in, all right? That's a nice and easy way to get the slip in, all right? And notice when you slip, notice how your weight moves from one side of your body to the other side of your body, all right? So don't think about anything on your upper body, just focus on your feet, all right? And today, after we come back, from the break, we're gonna learn, all right, to capitalize on this weight shift to come back with a power punch, all right? So I want you to remember, where there is weight, there is always power in boxing, all right? Everything, 80% of the power, 80% of the work in boxing is done with your lower body, all right? So we're gonna go for a quick commercial break, 
But before we do so, all right, when we do so, I want you to go pick up your water bottles, fill them up with water. All right, I'll see you right after this. Good afternoon guys, welcome back to Get Active Singapore. Once again, my name is Sam from Uppercard Boxing. Now, in, I hope you've got your water bottles with you, you've got your equipment all set up. If you have your dumbbells with you, that's great as well. Okay, now, in this next segment, this next segment is called Train Like a Boxer. Okay, so a boxer works for three minutes and rests for one minute. So that's the timing that we're going to follow from here on out. Okay, working hard for three minutes and in that one minute, not really a rest, but we call it an, call it an active rest to not let your heart rate drop all the way down, keep that heart rate nice and constant. Okay, so we're gonna be working two combi uh, one combination every single round, and once you get that combination, we're gonna go ahead, pick up your water bottles, put a little bit more work into it. So in this first round, this is your first combination. Now, starting with your front hand, you're gonna go jab, cross, your straight punches, and once you do that, you wanna turn your front foot in. That's gonna be your left foot if you're right-handed, your right foot if you're left-handed front foot in and you're going to feel that weight drop onto your back foot and from here that's when you're going to come back hard with a cross. So I'm going to repeat that combination again, jab, cross, slip to the back, cross. Okay, we go on my count in three, two and one. Jab, cross, slip to the back, cross. Jab, cross, right, so you see back foot turn in now but when you drop into that back slip, front foot in, and power in with that cross. All right, jab, cross, slip, cross. Now here's what I want you to note. Jab, cross, when you slip to the back, okay? Somebody may have thrown a punch to your face, all right? And you've do just dodged that punch, all right? What we say in boxing is make them miss, make them pay. You only have that split second to throw that punch, so come back hard, come back strong with that cross. Jab, cross, slip to the back, power cross in. All right, so feel that weight shift and throw that weight back. Jab, cross, weight shift, and throw that weight back. And when you throw that power punch, I want you to exhale with that punch, right? You want to let that power out of your body. So you can go light on the first two punches and hard on that last cross after that slip. So notice this, you've just thrown two crosses after that jab, but that second cross for some reason, all right, it's way more powerful than that first cross. That's because you have that weight on that back foot, all right? Last five seconds, guys. Last three, two, and one. All right, now that you've known, now that you've known that you know that combination, what I want you to do is just pick, go ahead, pick up your water bottles, and over here for the next 90 seconds, I want you to go hard, I want you to go fast if you can. All right, let's go. Jab cross, slip to the back, hard cross. All right, if you've got it, I want you to go fast, but make sure don't forget, always keep your hands up to your face. So exhale hard on that last punch. Now, when you exhale, all right, boxers like to call that your fight noise. That's it, guys, one more minute to go. All right, I know these water bottles, right? Right, are starting to weigh on you, so but make sure to keep your hands up at all times. You're gonna get that burn in your shoulders, but that's what we want. 30 seconds. Come on, guys. 
as you're starting to feel the weight on the water bottles add up. All right, one more thing, your hands are starting to drop as you bring them up, make sure to keep them eye level. Ten seconds. Last five. Three. And time. Okay, guys, next up, our active rest. We're gonna work on our straight punches again, but this time around, I want you to work speed into it. So the faster you pedal your feet, the faster your hands move. Speed, straight punches, non-stop, in three, two, and one. All right, make sure your punches are coming from your face, not from your torso. All right, make sure your punches are leaving from your face and try not to flare your elbows out, all right? Only turn your elbows out, all right? Only turn your elbows out, all right, by bringing your fist out, okay? So watch, it's in and then, all right, it doesn't flare out. That's because I turn my fist as I throw the punch. Last five seconds. Three, two, and one. Now go ahead, put those water bottles down. We're gonna pick up new combination over here. Now, this is your next combination, all right? I'm, break, I'm gonna break it down for you. Three punches, one head movement, followed by one punch. Okay, so your first three punches, I want you to focus on that first. Jab, cross, front hook. All right, you've done this before, you know what to do. After that front hook, slip to the front, front uppercut. So jab, cross, front hook, slip to the front, front uppercut. Okay, we go on my count in three, two, and one. So three punches first. Jab, cross, front hook, slip to the front, front uppercut. Jab, cross, front hook, turn that back foot in, all right, weight drops onto that front foot and you bring that weight back up with a front uppercut. So same thing, it's a drop and a drive, but after you've slipped, okay, that slip is doing the drop for you. That slip is doing the work for you, primed for you to throw that front uppercut. All right, so jab, cross, front hook, slip to the front, front uppercut. Jab, cross, front hook, slip to the front, front uppercut. 30 seconds. So I want you to go nice and light on the, on the first three punches and after you slip to the front, come back strong with that front uppercut. 10 seconds guys, come on. Three, two, and time. Now, again, I want you to go ahead, pick up your water bottles. Now, put a little bit more extra work in. You know the combination, three punches, one head movement, finish with one punch. Jab, cross, front hook, slip to the front, front uppercut. All right, let's go, guys. Now, make sure when you slip, all right, when you slip, let's say you're slipping to the front, Right? Don't look towards the side that you're slipping. Make sure to always keep your vision straight, even though you're moving your head. Right? That's because you can never take your eyes off your opponent. Right? The best thing to do is box in front of a mirror so that you make sure that you're always staring at yourself. All right? One more minute to go, guys. Come on. Forty seconds. Again, I'm gonna keep reminding you, always bring your hands back to your face. And also notice this, slipping to the same side, all right, of the punch you've just thrown allows you to throw that punch from that same hand again. Giving you even more power when you throw that punch. Last five seconds, three, two, and time. Hang on to your water bottles. Now, earlier on we worked speed straight punches. Right now we're gonna work on speed uppercuts. Okay, so for your speed uppercuts, same thing, you're gonna pedal that feet in the same way, but you're gonna bring that bottle up, all right, to your forehead, bring it down to your chin, and bring the other bottle up to your forehead, down to your chin, all right? And let's go on my count in three, two, and one. 30 seconds. And boxers also call this shoe shine, all right? Because it looks like you're shining your shoes, you're holding a towel in your hand and shining your shoes with it. 
Ten seconds. Three, two, and time. Now, guys, go ahead, put your water bottles down. Now, this next combination, we're gonna put two slips into this combination, and I want you to no notice how your weight shifts, all right, when you slip in between, a, all right, in a combination. Okay, so this is your combination, jab cross, okay? Front hook, three punches first, slip to the front, slip to the back, and come back with a cross. So, same thing like that previous combination, all right? You're gonna go three punches, but two slips this time, and then finish with one punch, okay? Jab, cross, front hook, slip to the front, slip to the back, and come back with a cross. Jab, cross, front hook, weight on that front foot, weight on that back foot, come back with that back hand. So wherever you feel that weight, all right, that's the side that you wanna come back with a punch from. Jab, cross, front hook, slip, slip, cross. Jab, cross, front hook, slip, slip, cross. Okay, those of you a little bit more experienced, I want you to break it down even more. Go light, nice and light on your first three punches and after your slips, come back hard, all right? Slip, power cross. Fifteen seconds, guys. Make sure to keep your hands up. Last 10 seconds. And time. Now, now that you guys have been boxing for a while, you're gonna start to feel it in your shoulders. All right? Now, instead of focusing on what you're doing with your upper body, I want you to focus on that hip turn with your legs, all right? Remember, 80% of the work in boxing is done with your lower body. Again, pick up those water bottles. We're gonna go through that same combination again, but this time round, all right, with the water bottles. So again, jab, cross, front hook, slip to the front, slip to the back, power back of a cross. We go on my count in three, two, and one. So try to control your upper body with your lower body, all right? Feel yourself connected to the, to the ground and that power is traveling through the balls of your feet, coming up into your fist. Slip, slip, cross, all right? Again, last 30 seconds, guys. Keep those hands up, come on. Last 15 seconds. Don't let up. Last five seconds. Three, two, and one. Now, for this next active rest, it is called your flow. Okay, so flow just means that you're in a constant state of movement, no real speed, no real power, right? You can do anything you want, but for those of you a little bit new, this is the combination I want you to follow. Jab, cross, front uppercut, back uppercut. So front hand, back hand, front hand, back hand. We go on my count in three, two, and one. Jab, cross, front up, back up. All right, so just roll your shoulders. There's no real speed, no real power. All right, it gives you the chance to work technique. It gives you the chance, all right, to watch your hands come back to your face and go back out again. And that's what you want in boxing, all right? Many times people get knocked down because they fail to keep their hands at their face. Last five seconds now. Three, two, and one. Now, put your water bottles down. Or away, you don't need your water bottles from here on out, but if you wanna hang on to your water bottles for this next round, go ahead. Okay, now this next one is your long combination round. We're gonna add on, all right, on your first combination every single minute. So by the third minute, all right, you're gonna have a super long combination. So we're gonna start out real simple, okay? Jab, cross, first two punches, slip to the back, come back with a cross, and finish with a front hook. So two punches, one hit movement, followed by two punches. We go on my count in three, two, and one. First two punches, jab, cross, slip to the back, Wait on that back foot, come back with that cross, finish with that front hook. Nice and simple.
right? So just notice how my hips turn with every punch, right? That's what you want for your hips to guide you, for your feet, all right, to control your upper body. Last three, two, and one. Now from here, we're gonna add on one additional movement, and that is a front slip. So this is where I left you. Jab, cross, slip to the back, cross, front hook. You finished with your front hand, okay? So your weight's on your back foot right now. You just wanna turn your back foot in, drop down into a front slip after that last punch, okay? So again, jab, cross, front hook, slip, right? Jab, cross, back slip, sorry. Cross, front hook, slip to the front, all right? Jab, cross, slip, cross, hook, slip to the front. Jab, cross, slip to the back, cross, front hook, slip to the front, all right? So now it's two punches, one slip, two punches, followed by one slip. So two punches, one slip, two punches, one slip. Jab, cross, slip to the back, cross, front hook, slip to the front. Jab, cross, slip to the back, cross, front hook, slip to the front, all right? Last five seconds. Three, two, and one. Okay, and now we're gonna finish with two more punches. All right, now this is where I left you. Jab, cross, slip to the back, cross, front hook, slip to the front. And from here, your weight's on your front foot. And which punch do you throw from here? All right, you throw a punch from your front hand. So remember guys, weight on that front foot, punch from that front hand. Jab, cross, slip to the front, slip to the back, cross, front hook, slip to the front, from here, front hook and cross. All right, so jab, cross, slip, cross, front hook, slip to the front, front hook, cross. So two punches, one slip, two punches, one slip, two punches, okay? Just what matters is where the punches come from. So whatever side that you've just slipped on, that punch comes from the same side, okay? Jab, cross, slip to the back, backhand, cross, front hook, slip to the front, front hand, front hook, cross. Jab, cross, slip, cross, hook, slip, hook, cross. Let's go for 20 more seconds, guys. If you're a little bit more familiar with it right now, in this last 15 seconds, I want you to really pick up the pace. Last three, two, and one. All right, great job, guys. Now, we're gonna go for a quick break again. Remember to hydrate, and when we come back, we're gonna hit your endurance set. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, well, good afternoon. Welcome back to your afternoon stretch with Get Active Singapore. Once again, my name is Sam from Uppercut Boxing. Now in this next segment, all right, we're gonna step away from boxing for a little bit, hit your endurance set. Now you don't get a boxer's body from boxing all day. This is some of the work that you don't see. So you don't need any equipment for this. Everything's just body weight. Now, if you choose to pick up your equipment midway through, that's up to you, all right? You wanna get a little bit more work in before the weekends, go right ahead. Okay, so we're gonna work for six and a half minutes non-stop. One set is three minutes, so we're gonna be doing two sets. We're gonna have a 30 second break in between. All right, we're gonna go for 30 seconds each per exercise, six, min six exercises, all right, in three minutes. So 30 seconds each, and I'm gonna cue you along the way. Okay, so this is your first exercise, all right, sumo squats. So take your feet shoulder width apart, 
have both have your toes point out 45 degrees outwards and you want to let your knees follow in the same direction as your toes bring your bum down sit right make sure you're not leaning over chest out back straight eye level all right so sumo squats in the first 30 seconds and again i'm going to cue you as we move along we go on my count in three two and one let's go sumo squats And I want you to try to get down, all right? Slightly below 90 degrees, all right? Off your, off your thighs, all right? Off your sitting position. Slightly below 90, get back up. And I want you to exhale as you get back up. Next up, we're gonna get down onto the ground for some push-ups in three, two, and one. Now, down onto the ground, onto the ground. Make sure your palms are stacked right under your chest. If you're on your knees, tuck your tailbone in and bring your chest down. The side of your palms, bring it back up. And I want you to just think about that chest muscle. Because the more you think about it, the more you establish that mind the muscle connection. Engage your core as well to keep your back from flopping. Next up, we're gonna get back up in three, two, and one. Reverse lunges next, both feet together, step backwards, back down, all right? So you want to get your calves and your thighs 90 degrees before you bring it at, back up. And as you go down, all right, you want to feel that fold, all right, right between your waist and your thigh. Keep your chest out, back straight. We're going to go back down again in three, two, and one. Now next up, back down into your high plank. We're gonna go shoulder taps, all right? So, all right, you can put your feet shoulder width apart for this next one, give yourself a bigger base. Notice this, every time you raise that hand to touch your shoulder, your hips gonna wanna rotate up. You wanna engage your core to keep your body nice and straight. Keep your, keep your waist from rotating up. Three, two, and one. Now next up, Low plank, back up to high plank. Commando push-ups. You want to be engaging your core as well on this next one to keep your body nice and straight. 15 seconds, 10 seconds. Three, two, and stay in your high plank. Put both your feet together, push your weight through your shoulders mountain climbers bring your knees to your chest feet that comes forward doesn't touch the ground all right so i'm going at an okay pace here but i want you to start to pick up the pace all right 15 more seconds let's go guys 10 seconds make sure your bum's not too high make sure you're not running like this make sure your weights push through your shoulders in three two and time so catch your breath, hydrate if you need to, quick 20 second break, and we're gonna go right back and do that all over again. All right, so I'm gonna give you options to up the intensity in the next one. If you want to, all right, you can start, put, all right, if you want to, all right, you can start working on these options to increase the intensity of your workout, but if you don't want to, that's fine as well. All right, so back to your sumo squats in three, two, and one. Uh, on your sumo squats, when you get back up, option, okay? Tiptoe right at the top onto your balls of your feet, hold it for half a second, and go back down. If you don't want to, that's fine as well. Five more seconds, and we go back down to those push-ups. Three, two, and one. Okay, now for your push-ups, I want you to challenge yourself Bring it down, don't let your chest touch, hold it for half a second, and then bring yourself back up. Same thing if you're on your knees, okay? And make sure to engage your core to keep your back from flopping in. Hold it half a second, bring it back up. Get just a little bit more stimulation in. Three, two, and get back up. Now next up, reverse lunges. Stepping backwards, 
Now, option here, all right? Go jump lunge, okay? So push off from your feet, switch feet in the air. If your knee hurts, that's fine. Stick to your reverse lunges. Keep your chest out, back straight. Keep eye level, try not to look down. The more you look down, the more, all right? You're gonna slouch and you're gonna lose your balance, okay? So remember, chest out, back straight. And we're going back down again in three, two, and one. Shoulder taps. Now, option. We can, I want you to push a push up in, in between your shoulder taps if you want. If you don't want to, that's fine as well. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Next up, commandos, low plank, back up to high plank. 20 more seconds on this. Whew. I'm starting to feel it, I hope you're starting to feel it as well. 10 seconds. And you know we're gonna finish strong with those mountain climbers. In three, two, and one. Mountain climbers. Now if you want, all right, bring your right foot to your left elbow, left knee, sorry, left knee to your right elbow. Twisting climbers. 15 seconds, guys. If you don't want to, that's fine as well. 10 seconds. Last five seconds. Three, two, and Time. Woo. Now, quick 30 second break, and we're gonna hop into your core round. All right, so put your bum down onto the ground with me. Now, on this first one, okay, I know you're trying to catch your breath, but keep your ears open, keep your eyes on me. Form a V shape with your body, keep your knees nice and straight, all right? Cup your ears, bring your elbows to your knees, and as you do so, all right, bend your knees in. All right, that's gonna help you get that nice stimulation in those bottom two abs. We go on my count in three, two, and one. Now if you want, you can even bring it in, hold it there for half a second, and then bring it back up. So only bend your knees when you bring your elbows in, okay? 20 more seconds. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Let's get two more in. One, two, and time. All right. Now, next up, okay, we're gonna go bicycle kicks. But with your bicycle, sorry, every time, all right, you bring that feet out. I want you to straighten it. Okay. Go slow. Give me quality reps instead of quantity reps. Knees to elbows. We go in three two, and one, 40 seconds. Right, so go nice and slow. When you go nice and slow, you're gonna feel it in those bottom two abs. That's when you're gonna feel it burn, right? I'm feeling mine burn just from those couple of reps. Nice and slow, 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Last five seconds, come on guys, deep breath in. Let's finish it up. Three, two, and one. Woo! Catch your breath, quick 10 second break. Last up, we're gonna finish strong with 45 seconds of low plank, all right? So low plank, push your weight through your shoulders, okay? If you're starting to gas out, just take your feet a little bit wider apart to give yourself a bigger base. All right, we go. In five seconds, get into your low plank position. Three, two, and one. So again, if you're guessing up, right? Take your feet wider apart. Give yourself a bigger base. And push your weight through your shoulders. But I'm not too low, but I'm not too high. Hold it where it hurts. 30 seconds. 
One third of the way through. Come on, guys. 20 seconds. If you're guessing out, deep breath in. Last 10 seconds. Come on, guys. You've come this far. Last five seconds. Three, two, and one. Woo. Now, 30 second rest and for the last segment it's called flow and work where we work for 20 seconds and flow for 10 seconds now you remember your flow jab cross up and up okay but if you're, you're more experienced i want you to freestyle that flow okay so for your work all right gonna be something high intensity and for your flow stay nice and relaxed so for your first work speed straight punches non-stop you want to pick up your water bottles go right ahead we go on my count in three two, and one. Remember guys, the faster you pedal your feet, the faster your hands move. Five seconds. Three, two, and flow. Jab, cross, up and up. And next up, your shoe shines in three, two, and one, speed, uppercut. 10 seconds. Remember, the faster you pedal your feet, the faster your hands move. Five seconds now, run it out. Three, two, and flow. That's it. Take that flow to catch your breath. And on this last one, we go aggression, speed, power, everything you got. All right, freestyle. Now, if you're new to freestyling, a good tip is this, always pump that jab out. Whether it's a double jab or three jabs, all right, doesn't take much energy, all right? Just pump it out whenever you need to. In three, two, and back into your flow. Now we go back into your speed punches again with those straight punches in three, two, and one. Speed straight punches. Five seconds in three, two, one, and flow. And then we're gonna go back into those shoe shines again, all right? Continuous uppercuts. In three, two, and one continuous uppercut. So make sure you bring it up to your forehead, let it glide down your chin and bring it back up to your forehead again. 10 seconds. Three, two, and flow. Now from here, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a longer flow and the last 20 seconds, all right? Whether you know how to box, you don't know how to box, I want you to expand all that energy out. Freestyle, aggression, everything you got. In five seconds, in three, two, and one. Freestyle, all right? Go hard, go fast. Everything you got, 10 seconds. Last three seconds, come on guys. Two, and time. Shake it off, shake it off. All right, good work guys. Now, while you're catching your breath, I want you to just bring yourself down. We're gonna go through a nice slow cool down before we end the day, okay? Now what I want you to do first is just take your left foot out, take your right foot, put it on top of your left knee, take a deep breath in, and reach. It's okay if you can't touch your toes, all right? Hang on to your calves, hang on to your ankles. I just want you to feel the stretch. Two, one, release. I want you to switch it over to your right foot. Take your left foot, put it over your right knee. Deep breath in. And reach. Two, one, release. All right? Now, Bring both your feet in, soles together, cup onto your toes, and when you're ready, just pull back, lean back, 
and you're going to feel that stretch in your inner thighs. Two, one, and release. From here, let's go right arm over, chest out, back straight, and right arm to the back. Two, one, release, left arm over, two, one, left arm to the back, two, one, and release. What I want you to do next is this, put both your knees together, lift your bum up the ground, get into your squat position, give yourselves a little bit of a hug, thank yourselves for the last 45 minutes, and I thank all of you for joining me on this afternoon stretch on this lovely Friday. I wish all of you an amazing weekend and an even more amazing week ahead. All right, I'll see you, I'll catch you again next week. Stay safe, stay happy guys. Mm -hmm.